Greetings, my dear learners. I welcome you all to this course, Engineering Geology. In this module, I will be giving you a brief introduction to Engineering Geology and we will be going through the various contents in the syllabus. My name is Sarath Kumar. I am working as an assistant professor in Department of Civil Engineering, GCE Dharmogiri. I have attached my mail ID here. If you have any doubts, please mail it to this mail ID. I will reply you back. So first we will be learning what is basic geology. Geology, the word comes from Greek word geo means earth and logos means discourse or study. So geology is nothing but study of earth. In this we will be learning how earth was formed, what earth is made up of and how earth changes. It is not a basic science like mathematics, physics or chemistry, but we will be applying these basic sciences to study about it. So how engineering geology differs from basic geology? In engineering geology, we will be applying all the basic concepts in basic geology for a safe and economic design and construction of civil engineering projects. The main objective of engineering geology are twofold. First, it enables a civil engineer to have a basic idea of geological considerations in the construction site where civil engineering works are happening. Also, it enables a geologist to give a precise information of geological aspects of civil engineering sites which will enable, which will help the civil engineer to have a proper judgment in safe and economic design and construction of civil engineering project. The scope of engineering geology is large. As you can see in the figure, it deals with minerals, rock mechanics, hazards, groundwater, geophysics, petroleum, environment. Minerals are the basic element that earth is made up of. Minerals form the ore for various metals like aluminum, copper, steel, etc. Group of minerals combined to form a rock. Rock mechanics deals with various types of rocks and how it is formed. What are the various properties of rocks? How to distinguish between rocks? Groundwater is the main source of drinking water. We can identify, we can locate the groundwater resources using geophysical methods. In engineering geology, we also deal with hazards. Hazards like earthquake, tsunami, landslides. In this, we will be learning about how to mitigate, how to reduce the adverse effects of hazards So, in this uh, engineering geology syllabus, we will be having five units. First unit is physical geology, second unit is mineralogy, third unit is petrology, fourth unit is structural geology and geophysical methods, final unit is applications of geological investigations. So, unit one is physical geology. In that, we will be studying geology in civil engineering, branches of geology, structure of earth and its composition, weathering of rocks and the scale of weathering, soils, landforms and process associated with various natural agents like river, wind, groundwater, sea and its relevance to civil engineering. In final, we will be studying about plate tectonics, earthquakes and seismic zones in India. So, in general, physical geology deals with structure of earth and its composition and how the earth is continuously modifying over a period of time by various agents like river, wind, groundwater and sea. Second unit is about mineralogy. 
mineralogy is study of minerals 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 are the basic element in which earth is made up of in this unit we will be studying about various physical properties of minerals once you know the physical properties of minerals you can differentiate between various minerals and in brief we will be studying about common type of minerals like quartz group feldspar group pyroxene in pyroxene we will be studying about hypersthene and augite amphibole group in amphibole we will be studying about hornblende mica group muscovite and biotite and the most common used minerals in civil engineering field calcite gypsum and clay minerals so third unit is pet petrology means study of rocks a group of minerals combine together to form rocks in this unit we will be studying about class we will see how igneous sedimentary metamorphic rocks are formed what are these properties of these rocks and also we will be learning what are the tests available what are the engineering properties of rocks and we will be seeing description occurrence engineering properties distribution and uses of various types of rocks for igneous rocks we will be studying granite dolerite and basalt for sedimentary rocks we will be studying sandstone limestone laterite and shale and finally for metamorphic rocks we will be studying quartzite marble slate gneiss and schist So fourth unit is structural geology and geophysical methods. Yes, we all know earth the top layer is made up of rocks. It will be subjected to plate movements. So once the plate moves, the rocks undergoes certain deformations, and over a period of time, new formations are formed. New formations like holes, holes joints are formed. so in this unit we will be studying about geological maps attitude of beds structure study of structures like folds faults joints and its relevance to civil engineering in this unit we also we will also be studying about the geophysical methods like and electrical methods for subsurface investigations so the final unit is applications of geological investigations in brief we will be seeing about remote sensing for civil engineering applications how to use remote sensing in civil engineering field like how to locate groundwater resources how to locate different strata of at different layers of earth after that we will be studying geological conditions necessary for design and construction of large civil engineering works like dams reservoirs tunnels and road cuttings we will be also study hydrological investigations and mining coastal protection measures what are the causes of landslides how to prevent it the textbooks and references you can go through is what is pc engineering geology for civil engineering hall of india learning private limited publications Wenger Reddy Engineering Geology Vikas Publication House Gokule Principles of Engineering Geology Chenna Kesavalu Textbook of Engineering Geology Parbin Singh Textbook of Engineering and General Geology So at the end of this course after going through all these units the student will be able to understand the importance of geological knowledge such as earth earthquake volcanism and the actions of various geological agencies the student will get basic knowledge on properties of minerals and the student will gain knowledge about types of rocks their distribution and uses the student will be able to understand the methods of study on geological structure and finally will understand the application of geological investigation in projects such as dams tunnels bridges roads airport and harbor Thank you.